Sunday the 21st of May. Today is the second part of my Wexford GA vlog. Today I'm uh, walking to the park and uh, we're gonna watch Wexford play Westmeath in a game of hurling. Um, yesterday I um, I showed uh, Wexford and Antrim in uh, football, in Gaelic football. Today I'm gonna show you the opposite. Now I'm not still not sure what kind of vlogs I'm gonna do. I might do two separate ones, we'll show you one yesterday and then about the football and then a separate one about the hurling. Or maybe I'll mix both or maybe I'll blend the two. Uh, we'll stay tuned and we'll see what happens. But today we'll go show you what the atmosphere is like. Like I'm expecting a lot more people at the crowd, um, in the crowd. It's a very fast paced game you'll see. It's, it's like the field version of like ice hockey. The speed of the, the slitter that and um, it's a very physical game so I'll show you what it looks like um, so when you're in Ireland make sure you uh, find yourself a, a game to watch now there's club games that are located anywhere so whichever county you're staying in or visiting just look up the uh, county that you're in for the club matches um, they're usually going all time every during the week and weekends um, and then the, the big matches are the uh, the county teams uh, vying for the All Ireland, so just look it up. The Wexford one I said you can go to the Wexford GA site and look up fixtures, and it'll give you what the the, the county matches or the club matches that are available in your local area, and get to see the game. Now, a club match would be totally different. It's more local rivalries and stuff, but it's very interesting. So make sure when you come visit Ireland that you come in and uh, look at a match compare uh, football and hurling um, and you'll see what it's like compared to uh, you know the soccer or the, uh, the English football style or the American football or you know it's a it's a totally unique games um, and they've been going on in the championships for years and years um, and actually I think even ice hockey is a derivative from hurling going way way back when it was invented in Canada so anyways hope you enjoy it we'll show you what it looks like on a beautiful Sunday day in Wexford when Wexford play Westmeath hopefully we have a better result than we did with the the footballers the footballers were winning at halftime and then sort of fell apart with the second half and then they ended up losing by seven points but the same same uh, rules apply as far as the points so if you hit the slitter over the bar in between the two posts, it's considered one point. And if you hit it into the net, into the goal mount, uh, it's uh, three points. Um, now I'm just gonna walk towards the park. As you can see, as we're walking up towards the park area, we're still way outside of it, but they already start to have security gates and people watching it so that uh, it's only for residents parking because what happens is uh, a lot of people park around the estates and block the entrances for the residents so you can tell when it's they didn't have this yesterday because there wasn't that big of a crowd but you can see they have security at all the intersections as you come around to the park and uh, they're not even there yet like we're still a long ways but you see the security places all out 
and you'll see it get more and more as we get closer to the park. So, I'm outside the gate. It's not an entrance gate, it's just for parking in that. Emergency entrance gate. Now, you can see the wall that goes all around it. That'll be where we're going into. I have tickets for the stand side, the covered stand side, which is the place we started yesterday's game with. And we'll walk around and we'll see. So there's the sights. The new added feature this year is the lights. You see those uh, lights up there so we can have evening games and night games, which we never had it before. And these are special ones. They, uh, they move and they go up and down and so it doesn't uh, disturb the uh, residents and it could shine directly on the pitch while the play is going on. And supposedly they're modern and uh, top of the range for that. They're thinking about uh, trying to have an open air concert. Obviously being in Ireland with the weather and that, you're always suspect to rain, but they're looking at trying to get Ed Sheeran. Now that would be really interesting with his uh, Wexford connections and that if anyone you know, I think his granny's from Wexford. So, we're just walking down to the end of this street. We're going to turn to the right, and uh, that'll be where the entrance is, where you get into the covered stand. Now, it's probably a little early still. It only usually opens up about an hour before. I tend to always like to go early to these things, just to relax, not pressure them. I'm always early to everything. Um, I hate being late, so I always like to plan stuff in advance and that, so. We'll see how that happens when I start traveling to Asia and stuff. Whereas a lot of these things will be taken out of my control. But you never know. So say we're coming to the roundabout here. So that's Belvedere Road. And then you see the guards are there. They're always doing security at the uh, at these uh, events. Entrance to the main stand. Stand and open sea. So the price of the tickets were 20 euros for the cover stand and 15 for the open stand and the terraces. Terraces are the two ends, like the goal, uh, the goal mounts areas. And then it's st still relatively early, but we'll wait and see what it's like. And we'll show you what it's like inside the building and what the field looks like from the sea to side. If you haven't seen my, uh, the football vlog, like I said, I'm still not sure if I'll show it in one or two parts. So just remember to hit the uh, subscribe button. I want to try to get to 500 subscribers uh, by the end of next month. And when I get to Nepal, I want to be in a thousand. So hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the uh, like button. And don't forget to comment as well. It helps with the algorithms and that and, the, and helps me uh, grow my channel and I bring you more content. Okay, so there's the magic ticket, and there's the entrance to the stand. So I'm gonna make my way into the turnstile, get the little ticket scanned, and we'll go see what it looks like. Hello. How are you? Good. Good job. Thank you. There we go. So they have sweets in that there, and then you have the programs. Five euros. Jeez. So they're getting everything ready. So this is where we were yesterday for the football game. And you'll see a big difference in for the hurling. Right now the stands are pretty much empty on this side. And then you have the open side, and then here's what I mean the terraces, the two terrace ends. So right now, I'll probably go and spend that fiver to get the, the program. How are you? You were heading up yesterday, were you? Yeah, I was here yesterday. What, what, what a terrible, fo what a terrible result. Hopefully this one will be better. <laughs> and here's a bus coming in, so players. Some Wexford players, I think. Is it? No, Westmead. They're getting the uh, coffees ready. That's beautiful. Uh, I, I'm 
Hey, yeah. There you go. The flavor for that. Thank you. There's the uh, West Mead team coming in. Hey, Mike, how are you? Are you? And I showed these yesterday, but in case it's two separate bugs, we'll see that there's a mosaic of the uh, football. And on this side, they'll have a hurl mosaic right in front of the old moped. Here's another one. It's like Wexford and Cork, I'd say. And that. So we'll go into the stand side first. Maybe I might go to the bathroom first. And then we'll go up, try to find ourselves a seat. Well, that was a fiver for that. A little bit expensive, but then it's for the, the uh, Winster Senior Champions Hurling for the weekend. So it has all the different uh, clubs involved playing so is Antrim Galway you know so they have all the Kilkenny Dublin so that's why it's a little bit more expensive like I think a couple of euros should be enough you only really need it for the program of who's playing today and that so I kind of sit on the stand side right on the against the uh, the pitch so we get closer action to uh, see the now if you're watching the game as a spectator or not it's always better to go up in the stands like what about 40 or 50 feet high and then you can get to see it but I'll stick right here and then we'll get to see up close and personal what's happening. Look at my little snack that I got. Vegan Kit Kat bar. I haven't tried them before I heard about them so I have that to look forward to uh, maybe at halftime and then I also have the leftovers of yesterday's. The pick a mix, brown trees, jelly tots, uh, fruit pasties and fruit gums all mixed up. You see they play pitch and catch like with the uh, slitter. And just for you that don't know what a slitter's like, it's very similar to a baseball, like the composure and that. So when you see the players grab it in their hands and that, you really are impressed with that. I know I remember watching a TV show, Archie had uh, the exchanges where they took a, a hurler from Kilkenny to go to the States to... Uh, practice playing with a baseball team and the vice versa the baseball uh, was a catcher going out to Kilkenny and he was actually out in the field and they were hitting this, the baseball and he was catching it with his hands and not the gloves and they were all looking at him like he was like crazy and that so it just goes to show you like their hands are really adapted to the uh, the slitter and it is a hard you know it feels hard but you need to grab it. a lot better than uh, yesterday's match. You can see it's filled up. And then on the other side, you know, it's not as big as a fan. Now, usually when Wexford plays Kilkenny, both stands will be full, and even the ends, the two ends, they'll have tons of people there. But on a sunny sunny day on, uh, in May, why not uh, spend an afternoon from 3 to about 5 o'clock watching a game of hurling? Er ist der Gewahrer und die Fisch. Und ich erfahre, dass wir auch eine Wohnung haben, die uns das Aftermorgen über die Sonne bei Helena und Lynn Roach von St. Patrick's GA Club in Kamala. Helena ist frisch für mich in der County, vor allem in der Welt, die schon aus den Singing. Sie ist auch der Deputy Prince von Gail Scott und Dennis Gordy. Und sie ist der erste Teacher in Gail Scott und Dennis Gordy. Schön! Shanti or 
quick points from Wexford. Yeah, the goalie has to puck the ball out into the, one of his players.
Obamacare. You got a bit of a push in the back there. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. additional time so it's 37 and a half so they'll be closing it off uh, half time soon and you see all the kids start gathering towards the fence because as soon as half time snouts they jump over and then they play around in the field it's a dangerous ball there we go there and that's half time so it's uh 215 to 5 for wexford half time so they're up by 16 points. There's the crowd. Minus. And there's all the kids huh? running out. Huh? Just enjoying my uh, Kit Kat. And then you see the field. Thronged with kids. The whole pitch is covered. And then everyone's making their way to the break area to go to the bathrooms and then get something from the shop. And as soon as the players run out, the ref comes out, they all scatter, like turning the light on with cockroaches. Okay, the second half, I'm gonna do the same as I did yesterday and head to the other side. So you see the stands here and then all the people You have to watch yourself, you don't get hit with a the ball. They're all over the place. But uh, definitely, pitch is in good condition. See all the people here. Oh yeah. Tons of kids here, eh? enjoying themselves in this beautiful sunny afternoon. And there's the, the full stands, now everyone's out to break, so that'll fill up a little later. We'll see it when the game starts again and all the kids leave the pitch. And now this is the sunny side, so it's a little warmer on this side. It was getting a little cooler in the uh, shaded area. Now, if it was raining, we would even want that. <laughs> it's a little warmer on this side. I was getting a little cold there. <laughs> it's a lot nicer on this side. And then you see the view. Hello. So now the announcement was to leave the pitch, so now the kids will all start to scurry. Once the referees and that and the judges and that come onto the pitch, they'll usually be gone, but it, as fast as it filled up, they'll be emptied. Westmead has scored the first two points. So now it's 215 to 7. Here's the ball coming in.
drawn at Stefan. I think he awarded a penalty then. Jack O'Connor's real quick, he's gonna take it. or 16 and a half time. Well, shouldn't Jack be taking that? There he is. Oh my god. Brings it, brings it to one, quote. And it's almost time up. What a terrible weekend for uh, Wexford in football and early. So with Mead has just beaten Wexford. Uh, the bookies had it at a 50 to one underdog. Oh, that's a terrible. Jeez, that's terrible, James. Terrible is right. Terrible. Well, that was pretty bad. I think they'd have to do some changes there. Now, one team's happy and the one team's not. So I hope you enjoyed the... Uh, the vlog of uh, the GA weekend. You see, there's some disrupt. Oh, it was not a good weekend for uh, Wexford hurling or football. I'd say all the Wexford guys are gone. I see there's Rory there, that's about it. Oh, that was terrible. 